Oxford University Press just made Rage Bait the 2025 word of the year. So why do our brains love Rage Bait and what can we actually do about it? The first thing that happens when you see Rage Bait is that your brain turns on your fight or flight mode. Everything turns into tunnel vision. And while that's happening, it's almost impossible to be thoughtful, to think about nuance. All of those things are dialed down because the activity of your prefrontal cortex is dialed down by norepinephrine. The second thing that happens is that moral outrage pushes you to share and comment. Moral outrage is evolutionarily social. We let our tribe know who transgressed this value, this moral boundary. We watch Rage Bait and we're typing furiously a paragraph in the comments about how this is fake or this person's wrong. We share it into a group chat with our friends. Hey, this person did this we should punish that behavior. And then the third thing that happens is you actually feel good because you did something. From your brain's perspective, you saw a threat or an injustice, you took action, and you got social validation for taking action. And now you have that little hit of dopamine, that reward that makes you want to do this even more the next time you see Rage Bait. So the loop repeats itself. You're just scrolling social media, looking at the next thing that's going to make you angry so you can get upset and tell all your friends how upsetting and terrible the world is and then do it all over again because it feels good.